Hi guys, good afternoon. Uh, thank you Denise for the suggestion na mag OBS. So, hindi na mag ng time. Let's start. Okay? So, for today, <clears throat> we're going to talk about um, since we're done with the walls, what else? The grids, the columns. Now, everything na italagay natin sa loob ng bahay or floor plan, yun ang ating itatopic for today. So, what to expect? Components, floors, tags. Yun lang. So, ang exercise natin, or let's say PAA03 natin, will somehow look like this. Okay? Um, sample lang to guys. This is just a guide on how your plate will look like. But of course, magkakaiba tayo ng floor plans. Baka gayahin nyo talaga ito. Maging literal. Okay? So, you have the floors, you have the components, and you have the tags as well. Yung nakikita ninyo. So, we will tackle that now. So, number one, floors. So, floors, only take note these things. First, draw walls first. Obviously, we've done that before the floors. Now, the thing is, I'll tell you later, ang walls dapat outside siya and the floors is in are inside okay hindi yung parang ang floors outside the walls and then yung wall naka patong sa floor yan ang ginagawa ko kasi dati so we'll see later how it works you can pick walls or draw manually you can add height you can add materials and different floor you can also use that um and equate it to a different material. So let's make a floor. Um, this is just a sample file. Very simple. Nilakihan ko siya, guys. I-delete ko muna to. Nilakihan ko siya para mas klaro tayo when we use um, or apply the floors and the walls. So we're done with the walls. We're done with the columns. We're done with the grids. And same as that, they were done with the levels. I'm expecting that. Now, when you click your wall, make sure that your wall is hanggang NGL. Pinakababa. Para, when you make your 3D, hindi, uh, hindi visible ang floor outside. Kasi minsan, uh, magkakaroon yan siya ng different leveling. So, make sure that your walls nasa base constraint na NGL. Okay? I will just check. Yeah. I think I'm recording. And then, <clears throat> after that, when you have checked that, let's make a floor. Okay? So, punta tayo sa ground floor plan, go sa architecture, then floor. Click the floor. Kung i-drop down mo siya, meron lang yan siyang architectural, structural, and face, etc. But normally, I just click the um, whole icon. Now, when you click it, mag-freeze or mag-wash out yung floor plan. Meaning yan, you are actively in the floor button. Okay? So, there are lots of ways. Nandito tayo sa tab ng modify or slash create floor boundary meaning active ang drawing ano mo. So, nasa options bar, kung mag-offset ka ba, no need for that for now. Um, do you want to extend it into wall or core? I just checked that kasi yan ang gusto ko. Pero hindi siya lalabas outside the walls. Hindi siya makita sa exterior. Now, check as well your floor kung anong gusto ninyo. We can, we can um, customize the floor same as what we have done sa, sa wall. So, as of now, ito muna, and then I'll customize it afterwards. So, floor generic 150 mm. You can draw here, dito sa uh, part na ito, you can draw via lines. As in, like, literally draw anything parang squiggly, kahit ano, free form of drawing like that. Or, I'll delete... Or, you can use this. Or, just make sure ha, kung i-zoom in yung nakikita nyo yung pink or fuchsia uh, color dyan. 
or um, kung ano ang ginagawa ko normally what I do is this kasi baka prone to human error kasi to so what I do is this pick walls so I pick the walls that surrounds my floor na gagawin ko ngayon after that you will see hello ma'am ang ang ano tawag nito fuchsia lines it extended here so, kung ano na sa fuchsia lines, guys, ha, yun ang floor ninyo, yun ang outline ng floor. And since nag-extend yan siya, edit the fuchsia lines. You can edit the fuchsia lines. And I'm using the trim, extend to corner um, button or command here. Pag i-click ko yung both here and here, yan, na-trim na siya. So, seamlessly trimmed here and here. So, ganyan lang. I use the pick walls para exact ako na hanggang wall talaga niya. Yung core ng wall. Kumaga. And then, if you're happy with that, then, you can click check. And it will tell you the floor slash roof, over, roof overlaps the highlighted walls. Would you like to join the geometry and cut the overlapping volume out of the walls? Normally, I just say yes. Parang, do you want them to merge together, yes. Pero pag may revise mo siya, just click OK. Ganun lang siya ka-responsive and caring, kumbaga, um, revit sa everything you're doing. So, right now, if I click my... Ngayon, naka-room tag ito ha. Ito, ganito guys, when you click the room, baka ang na-click nyo hindi floor. It's the room tag. Right now, I'm clicking the room tag. You will know it's floor kung mag Pun, ilagay ko ang aking cursor dito ay uh, escape ko muna ilagay ko ang cursor ko dito sa edges and then tab I press tab, nag pre-select siya ng isang square na walang x pag walang x, that's the floor and lalabas din ang modified floor pero kung i-click nyo ang room na parang ganito that's a room tag that's not a floor dapat hindi visible ang x o yung kanyang room bounding, etc so, I'll put my cursor here and press tab. Pag hindi pa lumabas yung wall, hindi siya nag-preselect, just press tab always. Hanapin niyo lang siya. And then, hanggang makita nito modify floors. You can always edit the boundary if hindi kayo happy. And if happy kayo, check lang, edit, check, edit, check, edit. And then, you will see now here on the left side, <coughs> sa properties, you can put na anong level ang floor ninyo. Sa FFL ba? Sa two second floor finish line? Sa ceiling line? Or whatever. That's how your floor works. Now, baka ilagay ninyo NGL. Wow. Doon kay sa FFL kasi finish floor line. How will you know if this is correct? Or maganda ang pagkagawa niyo? Um, I normally make this one. Go here sa section. I'll just slice it here. And then pag ginawa niyo yan, Pag naka-point siya dito, meaning dito siya ang view. And then this one, the hidden lines here, ito yung scope na makikita niya. Whereas, gusto ko lang nandito ang scope ko. Bakit mo? So, ang dyan lang. Then, para makita niyo yung section, mag a na yan sa project browser ng another view, which is the section. You can make this as a sheet. Totohanin niyo na gagawa talaga kayo ng section. Same as the front elevation may ganito. But as of now, just for checking purposes, na maganda ang pagkagawa ko ng floor. So, this is the section. If I'm clicking this one, this is the floor. You can see, we change kong scale para mas klaro. You can see na nasa FFL siya, guys. Oh. Whereas, kung I'll put it sa NGL, of course, bababa siya. And it looks not nice. Hindi pa naman tayo naglagay ng footing or whatever, but ganyan ang itsura niya. Okay, so FFL tayo. Hayaan nyo lang ito. Yung gap dito sa baba, guys, that's earth fill. Yan yung lalagyan ng earth. <laughs> Patag, kumbaga. Then they will fill in hanggang, hanggang saan yung FFL, then 150 ang inyong, ang inyong if you fill. Yan na yung magiging patag niya. So, it is resting on the ground. Kaya nga natural grade line. Okay. I haven't even checked if ang NGL is natural grade or natural ground line. See? So, ayan. Where are we? So, this is our floor. 
now I don't like it anymore. I'm good. So I'll delete the section. View section deleted? Yes. Okay. Then after that, um, let's do, uh, let's edit the floor. Let's edit the floor like um, a typical wall, same as that day. So, same as before, once na alam niyo na mag-edit ng anything, you can edit everything. Okay, so structure, same thing dito. Ay, na ano ko na siya guys. Na-edit ko na pala siya. Sorry. So, sa structure, sige, sige, wait. Um, gawa ako ulit ha. Let's say, dito tayo. Ayan, naka-fill. Kunyari, naka-default tayo. Then, I'll edit it now. So, I'll edit the structure. It will look like this. Structure pa lang. Kung magtinamad, <laughs> kung magtatamad-tamaran tayo, guys, you can just change the structure into an oak flooring. Pero, if you want it na parang layered talaga and sandwich for the for future ref, uh, reference na tama ang estimates ninyo, you will know how many oak flooring ang kailangan how many um, concrete ang kailangan. So, as of now, yung structure mismo, make sure na cement siya. Gawa tayo talaga. Asphalt, concrete, sand, ito na lang, yeah. Hindi naman siya makikita sa ano. So, ganyan. Yan ang thickness niya, 150. While, if I want to insert <coughs> ito, bago, a new one, ilagay ko siya sa pinakataas, which is the finish, finish one, I will make it into a, uh, an oak <coughs> flooring. Minsan, ganito yan siya guys, minsan para um, hindi naman sa tipid or what, para ma-maintain na 150 ang floor, gagawin nila yan is 147 ito and then ito, 3. Thickness ng oak ha, yung kanyang parang 3mm. Hey, 3mm ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 30. No, it's not 30. I need my... Hindi, 3mm. No, it's 330. Ah, makapal naman siya ng 30, guys. See? Nag-lag ako nun. So, pwede yung ganun. Per, para maging 150. Or, gagawin mo talaga siyang 153. So, 150 ito, then 3 meters yung oak flooring mo. Okay? Hindi ko siya na-duplicate, guys. My bad. Oh, no. But anyway, 150. <clears throat> 153. Yeah. Gabby floor. Huh? May palagay pa. I don't put Gabby floor na lang parang pangit. Yan na yung name namin, construction firm. So, 153. Then, press OK. Now, if I press OK, ito na. This is my floor. My own floor. So, if yan na ang nilagay mo as default dyan, if you're making a new floor here, then, gagawa na siya ng another floor. Then, trim and extend again. Oof. Wait lang. You can even push this one kung gusto mo ba na nasa labas siya or nasa loob. Okay? And then, ma'am, paano mag-fit mag siya dyan? Type AL. Okay, again, AL. I'm now, I'm now on AL. Click the wall first and then click kung ano yung gusto mong idikit sa wall. So, that's how you make LL. AL. Okay, gets you naman siguro yan. So, check your floor, roof, overlaps, etc. Okay lang yan. So, both these, um, master bedroom and bedroom ko, I want that to be in oak flooring. Now, I want my kitchen now to be in uh, a tiled floor. So, gawa tayo ng floor ulit. Pick walls. Pick, pick, pick. Ayan. And then trim. Uh, I think that's good. Oops. I th this one naman, guys, i-fill nyo na lang kung 
nag-inside kayo sa other rooms, make sure na is ipasok niyo na lang siya para ang area floor area ninyo ng rooms or floor makuha makapture lahat. Para walang ano, in reality, ang ano nakapatong naman ang ano kung kung in reality ha, nakapatong ang uh, nasa baba pa ang wall. Hirap nang i-explain. Nasa baba pa ang wall, naka-sink pa yan siya. Pero dito, we will not sink the walls pa baba. I-overlap na natin siya para when it comes to estimate, hindi nilugi or masure natin. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Check ninyo ang... Hindi ko mahanap ang floor. I-check ninyo kung naka-FFL. So, that's it. Now, as of now, naka-ano pa siya? Tab, tab. Naka-oak flooring pa yung generic natin na floor. So, I'll edit that and make it a tiled floor. You can even add LLF tiled floor. Dapat pala i-ano nino talaga. Kunyari, your name, um, Tom. Tom tiled floor. Tom wood parquet floor, tom oak flooring, tom engineered wood tile, ganun so, ito, naka ceramic wood tile, so I'll just change this one, yung oak flooring natin tingnan natin kung may tiles ooh, wala, ceramic tiles, ayoko nang gumawa ng material, ayan, naroon yay, see so, may ceramic tile, now you can see sa cut surface pattern and cut pat yung cut pattern, makikita lang ang cut pattern pag sinection mo yung floor okay, ito ang makikita mo but, yung surface pattern yun lang ang nakikita on top sa floor plan okay, same as the wall so I'll just click okay, wala akong ginawa dyan and then there uh, masyadong maliliit ang tiles, let me try if kaya ko siyang i-edit ha uh, I've done that only once. Um, I click so for um, in ceramic tile, I'll just edit the graphics, surface pattern, for foreground. Itong 250 mm squares, so I want that to be bigger. I can click here, let's see. Line spacing, I want 1000 mm. There. Kasi uso na ngayon ang... Ay, no, 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 no. Um, one... 200 and 600. Lutang yan. And then change this one, the name. 1.2 ah, 1, 2 by 600 and m squared. So no, it's not square anymore. It's rectangular. Let's see if it works. Okay. Then press OK. Apply. There! Yes, kasi yan ang gusto kong tiles, malaki ko no. So, there is your wall. I don't know, floor. Sorry. Let's check sa section. Just check. Ito, dalawang floor na ito. So, let's check how it looks like. There. We have your generic, yung oak flooring. And this one, the tiled one. So, you're good. You're good to go. So, now, we're done with the floors.